This old guy DIY video has to do with a simple $3 way to put a kill switch on your vehicle. So a friend of mine is a 2002 Suburban and he recently had a 2002 Suburban stolen. So when he bought a replacement vehicle, we decided we should put some kind of anti-theft device in there. So what we did, so we went to the fuse block under the hood and here you see ignition E, a 10 amp fuse. So we removed that fuse initially and the car would not start. So we said, cool, that's the fuse we want to mess with. So then I took a piece of wire and I took regular spade terminals that I had in this kit. And if you don't have one of these, it's a Wirefy 250 piece kit that I got on Amazon for some ungodly low price. But this is a great investment if you're doing some electrical work. So anyway, I took the spade terminals and rather than soldering and, and doing whatever else to modify an existing 10 amp fuse, I just took my little nipper and I cut the side off the terminals and these things fit in there exactly where the fuse would go. So then we take these terminals that have been trimmed down a little bit and stick one in each side where that 10 amp fuse had been. Now that's in place. Then we came down here and there's a little rubber grommet that goes through the firewall to keep moisture from getting on the inside as the wires go through. So we just took an awl and punched a hole through there and then we ran the wires through the vehicle and I have the other end here now. So this is just a little three position switch. We're only using one side of it. Uh, so when he goes to start the car right now, Nothing happens. The car doesn't turn over, doesn't do anything. So if a thief comes and he has a tow truck, he can still do his job. If it was a smash and grab, he's probably going to be frustrated and bail. So I go down to this switch, I flip it on, and now when he turns the key, the car starts as it should. So to finish this job, since there was a 10 amp fuse in line, I'm going to put a 10 amp fuse in line over here. And then to make room for this wire to not get pinched by the cover, I just took my little favorite snipper here and I cut a little notch in there so the wire can sit here when the cover is closed on the fuse box. And then he can take this side and decide anywhere he wants to put it inside the car to hide it. And now he has a secondary kill mechanism for all of $3 and probably 30 minutes work. So I hope this little idea helps you. Hope you don't get your car ripped off as a result of watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I hope you have a great day.